Hello. Down. Okay. What? Ha! I need to get ready. I need to put another fucking video. Ha ha ha. So my energy level should be high. So I'm drinking a fucking espresso. Cheers. Ah. Ah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what from LoydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo's uh, today's date is 18th February 2017. Time right now is 423. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, this question, for those of you who do not know, you need to send me questions and I answer this question. Don't forget, this program is sponsored by Think Personal Branding, my new baby that's created an online university where you can make fucking money doing what you love. Information in the description below. Now, uh, one of these guys, his name is Asik Divakaran. Asik is this amazing coach, uh, really handsome looking, talented, gifted guy, based in India, had an accident, broke his leg in multiple places, and is now making an amazing comeback. Okay, so he asked me this question, Asik from Divakaran from India. The question is, how to make a comprehensive and sensible to-do list for current, short-term, and long-term tasks. Asik, I love your questions. Your questions are so fucking amazing, man. Where do you come up with these fucking questions? I like intelligent questions. Okay, Asik, I'm going to share with you trade secrets. You're asking me trade secrets. Haha. <laughs> so I need to tell you. Okay, fine. So I will make a comprehensive and sensible to-do list for current, short-term, and long-term goals. Now, you're asking a guy who has literally, he has, I, I've done every single thing in terms of short term long term uh, planning i have done um, this guy his name is alan something i can't, i can't remember it he had suggested do your a list goals uh, and you need you need to have um, uh, lifetime goals then you need to write down your five year goals then you write, need to write down your six months goals and after you write them down you divide them into a b and c a is most important b is medium important c is uh, least important and then there are other thinkers who come out with write down all your goals and divide them into a and b a is what you want to achieve b is uh, you know what you feel is not that important then you only focus on the a so I've done lots of things like that. Uh, but here's the thing. Sometimes what I feel is there is too much of analysis paralysis. You analyze to the point where you're just fucking planning. It's so much of fucking uh, amazing planning that we just give ourselves the illusion or the feeling that, yes, I'm improving. That's why I'm planning. But then it doesn't amount to anything. So uh, what has really worked for me after all these years from the age of, I think, uh, 14, 15 that I've been planning out, what has really worked out for me? Uh, I think the best example that I can give you is my strategy for moving to Thailand. Um, first, first thing what you need to do is you need to have the long-term plan, the long-term plan, the vision. What do you want? My vision in life, first is the vision, okay? First is the vision, the big mega plan, okay? So, in for example, me, in terms of vision, okay? My vision was to be happy. I just want to be fucking happy. So, obviously, yeah, everyone wants to be happy. So, what makes you fucking happy? So, you need to really pen it down to the, the basics. So, for example, me, in order to be fucking happy, I thought to myself, okay, my vision is to be happy. How can I break it down? Break it down, write it down, break it down the long term. So you have to be very fucking specific, very specific, okay? So what would make me happy? I thought to myself, that is at the age of 39, yes, I was 39 last year. So I thought to myself, I want to stay in a country that accepts me without uh, treating me like shit or a second class citizen or that I don't have these fucking expenses that I'm trying to pay and trying to generate money, which was in Dubai. Dubai is a great place, but it's too fucking expensive and you can't meet the expenses after a certain point. So I was like, oh, fuck, then I need to change. So first was the country. OK, so obviously. I did research for one year and this is this was a two year question that I kept asking myself after Dubai what so Thailand was the answer and that came about just accidentally okay so first one was country second one was fine now I know the country but what do I want to do so obviously the question was I like training I like speaking I like mentoring I like uh, educating I like putting up videos I like you know being on social media that's what I like because it comes so effortlessly so then I said to myself fine then I need the skills necessary to make this happen okay so the second one was first was country then was uh, uh, you know career what am I supposed to do then the next one after that is okay fine you make the career but obviously you need to know 
how are you going to make fucking money? So for me, the next one was how am I going to make money, going to make money. Okay. So I was like, oh fuck, I need to charge people money. So in order to charge people money, I need to give people fucking money. Uh, sorry, value. So how do I give people value? I was like, shit, what do I do? So I need to study. So in order to study, what do I need? I need to spend time. In order to spend time, what I need to, I need a quiet place. I need to sit, study for the next two years. So I was like, fuck. Okay, now I know it. I need to study for the next the next two years. Okay, but now here's the question. If I have to study for the next two years, what the fuck do I do? I need money. So I was like, shit, it comes back to money. So I need to make a lot of money, make money so I can study and I need to save money. So in order to make money and save money, what do I need? So I was like, okay, fine. I will sell off everything that I do not need. And I sold off almost all I think 90% of all the shit that I had, I sold it off for hardly, I think I sold it at a loss, but I had too many things in the fucking house. So I sold it all, I saved the money and I kept it. And then after that, so I had a clear cut strategy. Okay, my vision was, I wanted to settle down in the country, I wanted to be happy. So what make you happy first is, Okay, uh, being in a country that accepts me. Second one is having the career, which I told you. So in order to make the career, well, first I needed to um, change my strategy, how I made money. I needed to offer people value and then they would pay me money. But in order to do, the, do that, I needed to study. In order to study, I needed to save money. In order to save money, I had to earn quickly, spend less, and that was a strategy, fine. So then the next thing was, uh, what would make me happy was, uh, I needed a family. I needed a girl who loved me. I needed someone. So here I didn't want to compromise by just taking any girl. I want to take someone who's truly, truly beautiful. Okay. Family, a girl. Okay. I'm writing it down so I don't mess it up. So here what I did is I said, let me go all out to search for the girl of my dreams. So I registered on psycubit.com, match.com, eharmony.com, shadi.com, dating sites. I think another four dating sites, uh, tattoo lovers or something like that. I, I registered for totally, I think, six or seven pan, uh, what? Uh, uh, parship, parship.com. So I registered for six websites and I paid the full premium membership, VIP kind of membership. And I said, I'm going to hunt every possible girl. I literally, I'm not joking, I send 100 girls messages every single fucking day. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. I think I got more than 3,000 responses after which from 3,000 came down to 300, then finally came down to 30, 35. I'm giving rough estimates. And now it has come down to three girls that I like. Okay, after which I'm going to choose one, just one. So, uh, girl and family, so I had a long term vision. Okay, I want to marry a girl, have a baby, and that's about it. So, that's what I moved, okay, moved to. And last but not the least, uh, it was like um, having the perfect house and, you know, all those other accessories. So, now if you actually see, I had a long term objective, a long term vision, a goal of what I wanted. I broke it down into small, small things that I needed, okay, and then I started to do a to-do list that adds value. Now, the daily to-do list, I have the vision, I have the long-term plan, I have the medium, uh, sorry, I have the long-term plan, I have the goals, and now comes, if you notice, I don't have any medium goals like, okay, in five years I'll achieve this, three years, no, nothing, nothing, I don't have that. Now it just straight away comes down to, what do I do every single day? Now, the what do I do every single day, you need to make sure that every single day, every single day, you do that one task that adds value to your goal. It can be anything small, simple, like for example, um, let me let me put it to you this way. Um, uh, when I have a goal, when I have a goal, I, I just don't keep a three year goal or five year, it's too far. I break it down to just one year. So my goal this year, this year is to set up my system because if you do not have a system like McDonald's, you go to work in any McDonald's, any college student, anyone who works in a McDonald's, he knows the system because there's a foolproof system. It, there's no surprise. The burger is fried at this temperature. These are the ingredients. This is what you need to put next. This is how much salt you need to put. This is how it needs to be packaged. Everything is a system. So I needed to create a system from scratch, which is why I created these three websites. I had whymacedo.com and who's whymacedo. I revamped the whole shit, which is taking me a long time because creating a system is difficult. And I also created a new one that is Think personal branding which was never there why because I realized if people had to pay me money for my expertise I needed to make a system whereby they could get in touch with me so 
that's what this year's goal is um, to create a system a system I just have one year goal and apart from that I knew that I had to break it down that one year into let's say 12 months so 12 months I said to myself I will not make it too ambitious I will complete 12 courses online or one mega course which can help me uh, I will read uh, around say 24 books to be more realistic um, so what I started to do I I, I completed a speed reading course not that great but it kind of gave me the gist of what I needed to do and apart from that I also said I need to put up let's say um, you know videos uh, videos online the goal was a hundred videos I don't know how far I'm gonna reach there uh, the goal was 100 articles I don't know how far I'll reach there but the fact is every single day I keep pushing myself to achieve that goal. So I keep putting articles, I keep putting videos, I keep putting something of a content that will help me get better towards my goal. Now, uh, what you need to understand is, uh, I didn't make it too complicated. I didn't make it too comprehensive. I didn't make it like, oh, there's my list. No, nothing. I, I, made, it, I made it very practical. I made it very practical. I have my long-term vision. I know what I'm supposed to achieve this year. And whatever I do, I keep pushing myself I keep putting these activities this to-do list like I you know in my previous video I showed the 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 things I had to do today because what happens is there are so many challenges and changes and unpredictable patterns and uh, people and influences and situations that come into your life like for example you yourself got an accident you never planned that out okay so what you need to do is uh, keep having that the objective I need to get there by the year end and you keep pushing full speed but you don't plan out like oh i'll ride in this car today then i'll ride that car no whatever comes during the day or the course of the day just take it in your stride and keep moving forward so uh to encapsulate how to just give you in a nutshell how to make a comprehensive and sensible to-do list for current short-term and long-term tasks first is have a long-term vision your your complete life your long-term vision of what you want to do define your sense of happiness break it down specifically okay physically mentally emotionally you know all the areas what would it be uh, it can be from country career family life whatever and uh, define very clearly what should be uh, in terms of career and the money that you want to make um, and then after that uh, just break it down to a one year goal divide it into 12 months divide it into like four four you know 54 weeks or 12 months or you break each month down into four weeks and that's where you'll clearly come to know what your target should be, how you should go about achieving it and what can you do. So this is what I would say is the best to do list or the best way to plan ahead and the best way to achieve. And yes, end of the year, um, just take a stock uh, of what all you did, what all you planned, how much have you done? Because remember this, um, sometimes life is totally unpredictable. For me, two years ago, I was actually planning my triathlon for the half Ironman. You know, I just spent I think uh, twenty thousand dollars buying a super expensive bike, and uh, sorry, sixteen thousand US dollars buying a super expensive bike, and uh, investing so much money on clothes and accessories for keeping fit in triathlon. And uh, you know, all of a sudden, I got an epiphany and I changed everything. So that's that's what life is. It's totally unpredictable, but keep your long term vision in mind. And that is what will really help you. And that is what finally matters. So I hope this answers your question. Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo. Remember, Think Personal Branding is my new online university. Do join it because that is what will help you grow, learn and become better. So this is me saying goodbye for now. Thank you very much. Anything else? Send me a question. Bye.